here we go. I'm going to show you how to play Purple Haze. Just mainly the intro and through the verse. I won't show you the whole song. Now the secret to Jimi Hendrix a lot is the right hand. See, that, you got to get funky. He's a funky guitar player. He played with the Asley Brothers and Joey D and the Starlighters, all these New York City dance bands. So anyhow, you want to get the... Okay, so that's the groove you want to get with your right hand. With your left hand, you're going to do the intro. You're going to catch a B flat note on your low E string and a B flat note on your D string. So you're going to go. And while you're doing that, the bass player is going. So I do my octaves like this with my pointer finger here, and then I use my little finger. A lot of you people I know like to use your ring finger. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it with my, I gotta do my little finger, so. So you get that going with your. And you mute all the strings on your guitar except the two B flats. See that? So you're going. So you don't have to you don't have to precisely catch each string. You just kind of go. So that's it. Now let's go with the riff. So we're going with that. Got that? Those notes are you're on your D string, ninth fret with your ring finger, your G string, seventh fret, your B string, eighth fret. So you got that? And you land on an A note on your D string. So it's going to be. And in between, you want to do these cool bomb dive bomb things. Like, watch this. the notes so we got then the next section is so that's fifth fret of your D string fifth fret of your A string and seventh fret of your A string which lands you on an E, e note then you could throw in the low E note. Okay, let's let's try the whole thing here. Give it a little shake there. Then again. Okay, regular speed, and don't forget to put the little dive bombs in between. So here we go. Next part. So that's you're going to start on an E note, seventh fret on your A string, and just go. I'm going to bend it here. Got that? You could, you could 
pull it down like this, or I prefer to go like that. Got that. Okay, here we go. From there. riff so that's just Nice and slow, let's see the whole thing. play an E raised ninth chord. So E ninth is that funk chord, you know? But you're just gonna raise this note too. Commonly called the Hendrix chord. So you're gonna go. Then your G octave. So that's the G. Some lessons you'll see them going like this. I think uh, Jimmy was more into these octaves instead of playing the full chord. So we got the E raised ninth. Kiss the sky and you go. And that riff is just here. Start on your G string, the uh, 11th fret with your ring finger. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole intro and verse. And let's do the whole thing. I'm gonna do a little faster. Start with the intro. Here we go.
there you go. I hope that helps you out. And just to let you know, you don't need to use a Fender Strat. You could do this on any guitar that feeds back a little bit. I like my Gretsch with these cool pickups. Very cool feedback. Anyhow, if you like my videos, I could put up a lot more. I need you to like and subscribe to my channel. Get this thing rolling, and I'll teach you all kinds of songs. I got 1,500 songs on my set list. I play music almost every day. I play an acoustic solo gig. I play in a duo, and I play in a band. So, been a lifelong player, and I know all the tricks. All right, check it out. Good luck. Like and subscribe. Robbie Gade.